Attempts to keep the pestilent Zhongnu at bay with lavish silks and other coveted items have met with limited success and always appear as weakness on the part of our government. Efforts to locate their camps and exterminate the problem at its source are even more difficult, as the nomads move like the wind much swifter than our mightier but more heavily laden armies. It seems the only recourse is to continue the long wall making it of sufficient height and width that the barbarians' horses cannot vault it. West of the Great Loop of the Yellow River, along the Silk Road at a place called Jiayu Guan, you are to establish a settlement and stretch the Great Wall westward once again. The weather is dry here, and the rains unpredictable. It would be advisable to keep an adequate supply of food stockpiled in case the crops should fail. The hills and rocks hide loads of iron ore, however. Using a new smelting process requiring more intense heat and quantities of wood to stoke the flames, steel, a new metal even stronger than iron, can now be produced. Troops armed with potent steel blades will have a sharper edge with which to smite any foe. Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. We are here on the Silk and Spice of the Silk Road in the Han Dynasty and looks like we gotta continue building the Great Wall, get four trading partners and get a yearly profit of 2,000. So nothing too complex over there. So let's go to the city and see what we're dealing with. Okay. So here's the Great Wall location. Very good. Let's have a... let's run the thing. We've got... oh yes, we've got vultures, no problem. We have Saiga Antelope. Salt deposit, iron ore, which he did say that we could smelt steel just a little bit of grassland, so I guess our housing is going to go around here. And let's have a quick look at our raw materials. We have millet, wheat, hemp, hunter's tent, so there's no uh, population requirement or anything. We can get clay pits, okay. Kiln, okay. Jade carver studio, salt mine, steel furnace, okay. So we got all of that. Let's have a look at the, the world map. We are here in Jia Yuguan. And Kashgar is already open. They buy silk, salt. So we could sell salt straight away. Mm -hmm. And then the rest, we don't really know. I assume we are going to have to sell... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I assume we're going to have to sell iron or weapons. Because we can produce weapons. We can totally produce weapons. Okay. So, I think we just sort of set up a housing area. We don't have to really evolve it or anything. Um, there's a little bit of grassland here, but can we actually... If I wanted... No, I can't get good feng shui. Oh wait, no, I can. I can with those trees. There might be a way to make it work there, but I think I'll just stick around here. So I'm gonna set up a, maybe a couple small housing areas. Don't even know if we're gonna feed them. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. And uh, we'll see how things go. Alright, so here we go. I've set up three sort of diamond, uh, well not diamond, but square blocks here. Uh, just so it, it's different and smaller blocks as well. So they will be easier to manage. And we're just bringing in as many people as we can. Set wages are very high. I've got one little laborer's camp here just to get that started. I think this will work. And I've also got one salt mine to start putting salt into here. We can only sell 12 a year, so there's that. And also an important note is that it mentioned steel furnaces needed wood, and also this monument needs wood before I can get started. So, oh, actually, we, we don't, we can't do anything yet, so we just don't need that at all. Okay, so we need to import wood, which means we do need an administrative city. So let's get this started. Oh, none of this is good feng shui. That's unfortunate. Uh, 100 people, okay. Because we need a... Huh. Where is... Only here? On the grassland? Really? Maybe if I... No, it doesn't like the rocks. Oh, this is a little tricky. These rocks are just so strategically placed. Okay, so I need to get this down somewhere. I guess it's not too important where. As long as it's green enough. So if I just do this for now and make sure it doesn't collapse. 
adds new knowledge is right we can just do that teacher. and then we could send out the trading things i think yeah let's try to get these houses evolved as well do they need more desirability it should be okay it should be okay um but yeah once we get this running then we should be able to uh send out requests for trade and then uh Maybe figure out... I, d I don't see a way forward yet because we need to find out what these uh, cities can do. Uh, that's, there we go. A request to open trade with Lo Lan. Chengdu. Oh, we can't talk to Chang'an. Xiao Shou. Lo Yang. Guang Shou. Fu Shou. And I'm not... Oh, Yin might be okay. And Yin. Okay. Does that work? Does this need to be employed? No, no, there they go. Time is always exciting. I only okay. Alright, so this seems like a decent enough start. I assume this is not yet working. No, no. Um, but yeah, I think eventually this should work out. I mean, we might get some food. I don't know if it's worth it. Two types of food is easier with the salt, but yeah, I'm just gonna see what trade routes open. Oh, well, what what trade routes open up and what trade is possible. Hey, that was fast. Lo Yang opens up. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. Chao Shou rejected. Lo Lan rejected. Cheng Du opens. Okay. I assume more are still on the way. But let's see what we're dealing with here. Sells wood. Okay, so we can import wood from there. They buy weapons. Okay. They also buy salt. So Chengdu is good. Lolan needs nothing we can provide. So let's uh Yeah, let, let's uh figure out what we can sell first. Ooh, Lo Yang buys steel. Hmm. Carve jade. Right? Hmm. Oh, we can import jade from Kashka and sell carved jade. That might be worth it. What are the... Can I see... What are the prices on that? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Raw jade. Export... A uh, carved jade exports for seven... Uh, seven. 230. And jade imports for... Oh, that's quite good. That's actually quite good. It will be a bit of a hit at the start. We can import 24 and sell 12. Okay, so we just want to maintain 12, I think. And they also buy steel. So I don't know if wood is required for that, but let's see. Where's the... So steel's going to come from here. So I'm just going to need a road. And I'm going to need to make sure nothing burns down. Let's slow the game down. Now, what are these trade routes? So, I've already brought in Kashka, right? I gotta be careful here. So, Lo Yang needs steel. Chengdu needs weapons. This is Kashka, which we can import. I'm just gonna import to maintain... They come three times a year? So, if I put it to four, it should maximize what I need. And then, I just need to, like, hook these up in some way. And roadblock these. So, there is some transport. And I will also cover this road with an inspector's tower as well. So then, I could put... We do need more workers. I'm all moving in. We just evolved all these houses. There is extra room. Okay, so we should be doubling our employment. Now, let me just check this steel furnace. Does it need wood? It needs wood. Okay, so we can't even mine steel until we get wood in. So let's just buy jade. And then... Sell the carved jade to Lo Yang, which also needs steel. So let's see. Thomas... Trading station, Loyang. 
Will it be good if I remove that tree? No. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Is this good feng shui here? I need to wait for the Saiga antelope to move out of the way. Our feng shui is gonna really limit what I can do. I guess it's not the worst thing. I'll probably need another inspector's tower. Oh no, that works. Perfect. So if I do this, then roadblock that. Um, Yin rejected. Yin always rejects. Guangzhou opens up. Fuzhou rejects. We gotta see if this guy reaches that. He does not. <laughs> okay, uh, but Guangzhou buys steel. Okay. Not the most useful. Oh, they buy carved jade, wait. Guangzhou buys carved jade. So that doubles our carved jade export to 24, which maxes every year. Okay. So we just want to max, like buy everything. Buy all the jade you can. Okay. And then I need the trading station to Guangzhou, which can go right there. This road can now do something more sensible, looking like that. I will just expand my inspector's tower to cover that, and then I can have uh, Jade Carver Studios just along here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that'll work. Let's let's get the jade industry going. Yeah, that that should get us quite a bit of money. This is a bit of a network. Look, it's it's starting to look like Factorio. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, but nothing else has started burning down. Here comes our first load of jade. And I guess I just focus on that, right? If I can max out carved jade exports, that should be really good, right? Yeah, import 24. Oh, Kashka buys carved jade as well. Oh, I just realized. So we could actually try to secure another source of raw jade. And that might actually... If anyone... no? Oh, I see. We can sell carved jade right back to them. So I actually don't need this. I don't need the trading station to Guangzhou to be here. Good to know, good to know. All right. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna get that going. We're gonna get the jade industry going. Salt is starting to come in as well, so we're gonna start selling a little bit of that. I think this will max out 12 a year. I'm not too sure. We'll find out soon enough. Um, but yeah, let's get this going. All right, so the monument is finally going on the way. We're importing this wood, which is pretty expensive. How much does it go for? 40, oh, it's actually not expensive at all. It's 45. It's 45. <laughs> uh, I thought it was way more than that. But we are importing as much wood as we can from here. One location. Uh, with one of these going as well. Carpenter's Guild. Because we should be maxing out our carved jade exports and salt exports this year. It should be. It should be, right? Uh, we have sold... Uh, we've imported all the, carved, uh, all the raw jade. So we've sold nine here and 6 of 12 of salt and it's September so it should be about the halfway mark uh, we've sold 7 here so yeah the carved jade should be pretty much maxing out and the salt should be maxing out and that should be paying for the wood and that gets this monument going now I'm not sure if our we do have four trading partners already, so we just need to make 2,000 cash in a year and complete this monument. And let's face it, the monument is going to be the, the, the toughest part of this mission. So we should probably just focus all in on this monument and make sure we get that going. Now, we could start producing steel and weapons to sell, but that seems very expensive. So I think if we just keep making money, 
I can very easily set up another trade route. Uh, let's see. There's there's three sources of wood here. Fusho, Chengdu. So we've already maxed out Chengdu, and one is here, right? Yeah, Luoyang is here. That's a little awkward. Luoyang doesn't need to be here, does it? I could shift Luoyang over to the wall and then sell the carved jade to Guangzhou. That would be better. So if I get rid of this and replace it with Guangzhou, sell the carved jade here, make sure we set this to 8 to try and keep this evenly distributed in case of anything, and then I can just put another trading station to Luoyang here. Hook this road up and make sure nothing collapses. Uh, set this to importing wood and then Spectre's Tower right there. And we could make sure we have another laborer's camp right there. And that should speed things up even more with another employees needed, that's fine with another Carpenter's Guild right there. That should double the speed of this monument. Because this monument, you can see, it just needs dirt and wood. Dirt and wood builds a great wall, apparently. And, uh, yeah. That should be fine. I sh like, if I just leave it as it is right now, I'm pretty sure we would just win if I speed up the game. And I don't have to do anything else unless we're invaded and we immediately die. But if we're not invaded, I think we've already won the mission. Right? I think I think that's it. I think we've won the mission. I should probably build more houses. So to max out some space here, I can do this. To extend the block a little bit. Because we are paying high wages right now, so we want to try and minimize our wages by doing this. And here as well. And that should allow us to drop our wages, uh, or at least solve our employment issues. And we probably should uh, try and get some festivals going. But there we go, dumping more wood in. And where does the wood go? Does it just place it anywhere it likes? Oh, I see. They're already up there. But yeah, I think we've already won the... I, I think we've won, right? I think I think that's it. I think... <laughs> right? We just need to import wood, and as long as our money... As long as we don't bankrupt ourselves, we should be fine. So I probably should try and secure another trade route. Maybe another... Does anyone else buy salt? I could increase my salt production. Chengdu buys salt. What is this? Hmm. Okay, well, if we start running out of money, I just stop importing wood. I think I think that's a solution. And someone from Chengdu wants to come in? Okay, permit. Ten stacks of wood? Oh, okay. Um, well, let's postpone that. Let's just make sure we grab that. Can I put this good feng shui anywhere? That will have to do for now. And just... Allow this to accept wood. There we go. Extra 10 wood doesn't hurt. That'll help things along as well. Fantastic. Alright, Luoyang wants to sell more silk. I am not doing anything with silk this mission. Meanwhile, the Great Wall is looking kind of nice. Though, by the way, we are not making any money. <laughs> uh, we'll probably make a lot of money when we stop, sell uh, when we stop importing wood. But uh, we have quite a lot of wood. We have what? That counts as 20. We have 28 in stock right now. And the monument needs 124. So we need a lot of wood. We need a lot of wood. Um, but it's getting on. It's getting on. We just need to make sure. I just built this shanty road here by the administrative city so that I can start uh, maybe feeding people. Maybe, maybe, maybe some food would help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hunter's tents. We have 
maybe I could support four hunters tents right and maybe get a little bit of food coming in here I could just like squeeze in yeah, yeah I mean it should be fine right uh, where does uh, can a mill just go anywhere yeah it can can the uh, market square go anywhere yes Feng Shui is fine all around, so I think I just extend the road out like this. And then maybe I could sort of double up the market square. Into these two blocks. I mean, it should work, right? A fire. Oh! How did I completely forget that? How, how did I... Hmm. I don't remember... Huh. I... Hmm. <laughs> Oh well, no biggie. <laughs> yeah, just put that out for me, please. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, we were gonna roadblock that um, so that I could put down the no no the mill, which was gonna go right here. Yep. So I need the mill just right there, and then we can do some hunting right here. Four should pretty much be the max. And then we can just make sure nothing burns down by doing that. Perfect. Yes. And also, let's just do this. Uh, you know, this is a very brown area, so let's just make it more brown by using brown walls. This is open to building inspectors. I need to make sure this is a gate as well. Brown residential walls. They actually look kind of fancy. Open to market employees. Open to market... Actually, they didn't used to look like that. Do the walls look different? I think the walls look different. Right? Let me just check. Gray walls. That looks the same. Do I just never use brown? Maybe I just never use brown. <laughs> oh well. This burned down. So let's rebuild that. We lost some wood in the process. I am not too concerned. Um, was it Chengdu? Yeah, it must be Chengdu, right? There. Problem solved. Uh, <laughs> uh, we will make money sometime in the future. Yeah? And there we go. We're starting to feed our people because we need the employment and also to make more money. Oh. Chengdu is willing to sell more stacks of wood. Wait, how, how is this currently set up? That's Luoyang. I put Chengdu down here. That's... That complicates matters. Huh. Perhaps I can import extra wood into here and just grab it and bring it over? Maybe. But I'm currently waiting for people to move in by feeding them here. So that I can actually get the employment to get a weapons export going. Because, see, this is over here because I want to sell these weapons. Uh, because that might be worthwhile. But, uh... I mean, it does look like we're making money. Did I make money this year? Uh, let me just check. Government, government. Did I make any money? I made 800 last year? No, I made 800 this year. I made no money. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, yeah. But people are moving in, so let us get down a steel furnace. And I suppose I should prep weaponsmiths? I mean... It should be okay. I don't know how many steel furnaces I need. 
I could squeeze one more down this way, I think. But let me just... So this needs wood, right? So it has wood. It grabs iron ore. I convert this into weapons. And then sell the weapons. To boost my income. So this should already be increasing how much... I think I set this to... Oh, we're in the next phase of the wall, so we're dumping wood into here. 58 stacks of wood. That's quite a lot of wood. Um, is it a new year? Traded this year, 24 of 24. Hmm. If I could open up that Fusho. They need silk, steel, lacquerware, weapons. If I could open up Fuzhou and import wood from there, that would actually help. Oh well, it's just gonna have to go at the speed it's going at. Yeah, go ahead and build those first. We've only got about half the amount of wood we need. Uh, it's probably because our trading station burnt down. <laughs> Otherwise, we probably would have been okay, but... Uh... It's okay, we'll just get this phase finished next, right? Oh, it needs 30 stacks of wood. Can we set this to, like, getting 32 wood? Will you go and grab wood? Oh, you will. So, okay, we could import a little surplus wood here and just bring it over, yeah? Wages have decreased across the empire. It's okay, we need the workers. Okay, we fed these people. They need the appeal to increase. So let's just put a little bit of a guard in here. Make sure these houses evolve. Because that will actually help our population. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, that'll bring in a few more people, solve our worker issue. We'll keep this keeping on and maybe we'll produce some weapons to sell. All right. Okay, so the wood has come in and what is this? Economic prosperity at Kashga. And the leadership of Shitsu is experiencing economic growth. Large amounts of cash are flowing into its coffers and the city's industries are again more productive than they had been before. Really? Kashga. So they are just producing more? I don't really know what that means, but this phase of the wall is starting to complete here. We got in enough wood. Uh, we did max out imports here. I can set this to getting wood, so I can import extra wood to here and then just bring it on over. How much more wood do we need? We need 62 wood, so I should probably just max out... Like, just buy all the wood this year. So then next year we can pretty much... And just set this to getting, yeah? So next year we can almost, let's see, we can buy 24 from there. This is gonna be... 36. That'll be 60. And if we have just... We have 100 there. I think we should be able to get enough wood in this one... Year. Right? If I max that, max this, I think there was some already here. Yeah, so we should have just about enough wood to finish it next year. I mean, some wood will be used in this thing, but... Uh, it should come very close either way. Alright, so... Uh, also... Gods are feeling neglected. It's fine, it's fine, no problem. Uh, food is maintaining, yes. I'm not sure if I could feed this area. I would like to. Could I... Could I go with it? Could I support that? It might be okay, actually. If I just destroy this house and extend this road out like this, then the market has a slight random opportunity here. Not the most secure or efficient, but this open to market employees. There are two market walkers, so... If one walks down that way, we could evolve all of that. And possibly lower our wage rates even more, saving us even more money, because dropping it from very high to high saves us 200 a year. Did we max out? No, we've only bought 16. Okay. 
And they're just dumping soil, I think. Oh, what was that? Kashgar buys more silk. Okay, there's a lot of silk trade changes on this map, but uh, we're not doing anything with silk. Selling some weapons does help a little bit, though. We are producing five, six? We're selling quite a decent amount, actually, with just this. So yeah, that's going on quite well. Hey, it says here that the price decreased for wood by five cash, and I'm not sure if that's... it should help us, right? And no festival again, unfortunately. Uh, but price of wood... I think it's gone down. It was 50, right? I think. I don't know. But anyway, I've tried stockpiling some weapons and carved jade this year, so it's gonna be the new year... I uh, just turned the new year, so we can start... Uh, selling. Don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna try sell all of this carved jade and we're gonna start selling all of these weapons again. Uh, and we should have almost enough wood to finish this monument. Almost, almost, because it needs another uh, 62 wood and we have uh, 17 here. We can import 24 here. And we can import another 36. Uh, well, we're bringing more over. So I think we should be able to get to 62 just about. If not, we'll just have to finish this next year. Uh, but we have not been making any money <laughs> each year. It's actually slowly going down, which is a little tricky. Uh, but once we stop importing wood, we're actually going to start making a ton of money in a single year. So perhaps next year is best. So this should be the second last year before we finish this uh, map. And 31 work is needed, let's just boost that up. Okay, and we are feeding two housing blocks, by the way, with... Yeah, it's actually maintaining okay. Just a split road here. So that's turning out all right as well. So, okay, we're just going to go through this here, uh, flatten out all this dirt and start, I think, what will be the final... Or should be the final portion of this monument. 35 unemployed, which means we can actually speed this up with another laborer's camp. If I could just... Oh, look at that strategically placed rock, meaning I can't put one there. <laughs> um, can you even scale this mountain? I don't think you can. I guess I just uh, place another one like that. And we actually don't need this going that way. Alright, that should speed up the flattening and delivery of Earth as well. All right, so let's keep on going. Okay, so I think I've grabbed another 16 units of wood here, bringing it over from this side. And that should be... We actually have uh, 17. And this just needs 14 stacks of wood and the carpenters to go around. So I think, yeah, all the wood has been delivered that we have here. So I can now stop buying wood from here. And I can just maintain a small amount of wood here. Maybe just four. Four units should be fine, right? And then... So that's maxed out for this year. So I need to start stockpiling weapons. And start stockpiling carved jade. Yeah, so we can max out all of our sales for next year. So we have a little extra employment here. I could... Can I fit... If I get rid of this... Will this work? That will work. I can do this. And try to max out... Our weapons productions. Right? So that we can try sell 24 weapons next year. Right? This looks like it should be doing okay. Yes, yes. I think we're importing enough wood to keep this going. So there we go, that's gonna double our weapon production, and we're gonna just... Yeah, uh, have we maxed this out? Yeah, stop selling that. That's gonna... that's already maxed this year, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, it's December now. We're not selling that. So if I just sell everything, and then rush to the end of the year, we should actually make enough money to win this map. And we do already have all the wood in. Okay, so we don't need to import any more wood. So I don't need this at all anymore. Okay, that's good. That's good. 
Uh, that saves some employees. I can also just evolve these houses here. That's good. We have these two blocks maintaining. All right. Okay. So we should have everything we need to win. We just need to make enough money. Right? Right. I'm just waiting for the carved jade to come through here. Is that? There's only 900 in there. Okay, so there's 900 already set. So I want to not buy so much. Because I just need a little bit to max out sales for next year. Because there's... I actually only need two. Oh, there's one right there. So I actually only need one, right? I think so, right? So this is... So I need two. One is on the way. So I actually only need to import one unit of jade. And I don't need this anymore. And I can actually get rid of all of this. There's the new year. Okay. I don't need any of this. And I just need... Is this going to be done soon? That's 87%. Okay. This is going to continue buying wood. Because we're now going to start selling all the weapons we can. And this year, we should be able to hit our money-making target, right? Meanwhile, this is just putting in the last layer of dirt. Fantastic. Okay, so I think that's going to be 11. Okay, so then I get rid of this. And we should import one unit of jade, deliver it, produce that into the one unit of carved jade, and that should maximize our profit for this year. Okay. Plenty of wood going around. That should maintain the rest of the year, I think. Okay, here comes the trader from Kashga. Okay, Kongshu. Okay, okay, just making sure this is correct. I don't want to make a mistake here. And as soon as we get one unit of raw jade here, there's that one unit, stop by. So that we can just produce one more unit of jade. And this should max out all but one there. This should max out all sales from this side. And Luoyang wants to come on in? Okay, permit. 11 <laughs> stacks of wood. Well, okay. Sure. Um, well, we don't need this anymore, so empty that. Just set this to accepting. This is gonna max out sales here. So I turn that off to make sure the one car of jade goes into there. And then we just continue to produce weapons. As much as possible. We've sold five so far? Okay. Okay, so that's gonna... be perfect, right? I mean, I could tax people, but, you know... They're just shacks, it's fine. Drop our wage rates. Okay. Because we are... I actually want to get the... wood back this way, but I guess it's fine. It's fine, right? It's fine. We just need laborers. Going around. Okay, 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 okay. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Right? How did salt get here? What? Oh, I forgot. We're supposed to be selling salt. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> the mill went and grabbed the salt, and I forgot salt was a source of income. Well, okay. Um, I forgot to stockpile the salt when I turned off the trade, but I guess that's fine. We're gonna now stop producing jade completely. That should solve our employment problem. So there's one unit of salt, one unit of carved jade there. Bit of salt ended up here. Unfortunately, we can't just feed our people just salt, so... Uh... Meat cakes, it's gonna have to be. Uh, 
but okay. Right? Right, let's just keep on going. And there we go, the wall is being smoothened out. The last layer of dirt was packed down and the carpenters are just going up and down. And yeah, 24 carpenters just to uh, remove the scaffold. Meanwhile, we're at 6,000 cash. A little bit of salt is still going up. We did max out all the other exports. And looking at our government tab, we can see that our uh, net in outflow is 5,000. It only needs to be 2,000. But uh, yeah, let's just speed things along here. Come on, remove that. Remove that, remove that, and we should be clearing up this side as well. New Year has arrived. I have thrown no festivals this year, but that means we have the yearly profit. And now I don't really have to touch anything. We just have to get this finished. So let's just speed things along here. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Clear that out, clear that out. After a few tiles, they have to walk back. Can we finish that? Yes! Okay, good. And now we just... Oh, don't tell me there's one more off the screen there. Really? Okay, okay, send another carpenter. Okay, this guy. You. Yes, what's what's your name? Tang Jia Xuan? There's one off the screen there. Then we just need four laborers to build the towers and the gates, I think. And here they come. There's a tower. One should come this way as well, right? Well, there was one guy going that way. Uh, there we go. Tower's gonna go there. Tower's gonna go... Here. It's off the screen. Okay, we can't see that. Employees needed. And then, is someone gonna finish... Oh, we need... Oh, no. Do we need this road connected? No, oh, no, there we go. There we go. Kablamo! Great wall complete. Well, this segment of it, at least. Your enemies are howling in rage at the magnificent wall blocking their roots into the heart of China. Ah, alright. And that should be victory, right? That should be it. I guess we have to wait a little bit, and then we'll win. Okay, so we should be winning any second now. Ah, oh, just having a last look at our wall here. It looks... I wouldn't say magnificent. It looks okay. It looks okay. <laughs> anyway, we do... Oh, we don't need any employment, so I guess I just leave all of this going. We did destroy our entire jade industry, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We have met all the requirements, so let's just win the map. A job well done. The great wall your laborers have constructed in this parched land is sturdy and strong not unlike the city it protects. All right, so that's gonna be the end of Silk and Spice in Yu Guan. Here's our score here, not too bad, not too bad. I think uh, we actually did this relatively quickly. We probably could have won one year earlier if we knew what we were doing and tried properly, but it's okay. All right, that's gonna be the end of this. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out the full playlist for all the Emperor videos. All right, that's gonna be it for now and I will see you in the next video.